everyone, this is Rhonda from the All Cups channel and today's tutorial is going to be on this cute little beanie hat um, with a little flower and I will do the tutorial for the flower as well and uh, this is just um, really cute for summer or whatever you want to use it for. I made this to match this little dress. This dress is the same dress that I did the tutorial, the pink dress, but without um, without the uh, knots, the lacy part. So see, you could do the pink dress tutorial, just don't add the last step, which is the edging here on the sleeve or on the bottom, and then it comes out like this. And I think it looks super cute. So you could do that. And then I made the little hat to match. So let's get the party started. To begin our little hat, I made this with the baby weight three ply yarn. This is the baby Bernat, and then I just, um, for this little hat, I used a size H hook, which is a size 8 or 5 millimeter. You can use it a bigger or smaller hat, excuse me, bigger or smaller hook size, if you prefer. To begin the hat, it's the basic beanie that I've been using. For this, I did begin, um, instead of using the ma magic circle, we're going to chain four. So let's get started. To begin our little hat here. Then we're going to begin with a slip loop and I am going to begin by chaining four. So you do one, two, three, and four. Once you do the four, we're going to slip stitch into the first chain and we're going to pull that close. Okay. To move up to our next, to our first row, I'm going to chain three one, two, and three. And for my first round, I'm going to uh, do uh, 12 double crochets, but this one counts as our first one, so 11 more. To do the double crochet, I yarn over, and I pull, put your hook in the middle there. You're going to pull out. You'll have three loops of yarn on your hook. You do through, pull to two, and then two more. That's your first double crochet. And we're going to do a total of 11 more. So here's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and 11. Now we're going to close our loop, our circle here. We're going to slip stitch into the third chain of that first chain going, that first turning chain. One, two, three. Put your hook in there. We're going to slip stitch through there. And now you're going to pull your yarn out. For our next round, which is our second round, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And you can pull your little circle there a little bit to make it tauter. See how it gets a little bit smaller? So here in the very first chain, I'm going to do one double crochet in there. Remember our three chains count as one double crochet. So right here we're going to put two double crochets in each chain or each ditch. So you can have an increase in every chain. When we finish this round, we will have 24 double crochets in each chain or each stitch. Okay, that's my last stitch there. I'm going to slip stitch into the third chain here. One, two, three. So is that all? So you should have 24 double crochets there. And then we're going to do the same repeat row two again, chain three, one, two, three, in our first, that same chain, turning chain, I'm going to do my double crochet there. And then I'm going to do two double crochets in every stitch or chain going around. And so now after this round, I'm going to have 48 double crochets. So do two double crochets in every chain. The last 
Okay, I finished the last double crochet here. You should have a total of 48. To go to my next row here, I change color. If you want to do it all solid colors, then you would do it just the same color here. When I'm going to change colors, I'm not going to cut, don't cut the your other color. Just leave that strand there. We're just going to work it up on the way up um, in each row. So here I have my white color. So what I'm going to do here, when I stick my hook into the third turning chain there, that is where I'm going to grab my white yarn. And you can change color any way you've been taught. So I'm going to pull it out there. And then I'm going to um, get the short in here and I'm going to tie it to the main color that I've been using, the peach color in this case, whatever color you're using. I'm going to make a little knot there and I'm going to leave this um, peach color. I'm not going to, don't cut it off, okay? So here I'm going to go up to my next round. I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. And now in this round we're going to be doing one double crochet in each stitch or chain, but we're not going to do it in the first one. So here we're going to go to our next chain, and I'm going to try to um, bury my white tail as I go along. So here I start my first double crochet, and then in every chain or every stitch, you're going to do one double crochet all the way around. So you should have 48 double crochets. From here on out, until we get to row 10, there are no more increases. We're just doing one in every round. Right here it looks kind of a little bit flat. It's not really flat. It's a little bit um, cut. It's hard to see on the camera, but it will start taking shape the more rows you add. So don't worry. Um, it'll start getting that shape. So here, go ahead and put one double crochet in every stitch. Okay, here I've come to the end of my row. So in the same way, I'm going to change um, your, my color. Here, when I go into my third chain of the third turning chain here, I'm going to uh, drop the white, and then I'm going to pick up the peach color, and then just tug on the white to make sure that it's nice and tight. It doesn't leave a hole. And then just do your chain three, and then begin doing your uh, one double crochet in each stitch. Okay? Now, you're going to be doing that. See how I just left that, that yarn? And it's going to be going up. It's going to be pulling up. So there'll be a little loop inside, but that's okay. Once you get to row 8, you'll cut off your white color. And you'll just do the remaining two rows in peach. So here, for row 4, I went to the white like here. Then row 5, I changed to the peach. Row 6, I went back to the white. Row 7, I went back to the peach, and then row white. Row um, 8 is in the white. So that would be your last row of changing colors. And then you'll change colors one more time to peach, and then these last two, the last remaining rows will all be of your solid color. If you want to just make it all one solid color, that's okay. I just um, alternated my color changes. So for this first three rows, there's no color change, it's all peach. Then row 4 is white, row 5 is peach, row 6 is white, row 7 is peach, row 8 is white, and then row 9, 10, 11, and 12 are all in your solid color, your peach color. So go ahead and work your um, beanie that way. Remember, there's only one double crochet in each stitch. No more uh, increase. After row, from, row four, from row 4 to row 10, there's only one double crochet. The only thing you're changing is that you're picking up your yarn here. Once you get to row um, 8 here and you pick up your peach color, then you can cut off your uh, white color and tie it off and then just finish your two rows. So go ahead and finish that. When we get to row 8 here, I will come back and we'll do row uh, 9 and 10 in the solid color and then we'll do 11 and 12 in our little that uh, trim or our edge design. Okay, here I finished row 7, which is my last row where I'm going to be changing colors, seeing how our beanie was on row 7. So here I'm going to pick up, once again, my peach color. When I put my, um, uh, my hook into my third turning chain there, I'm going to pull out from behind, grab the peach color, and I pull that out and now 
this is going to be my last row in white, the seventh row. So now I can go ahead and cut off the white. I'm going to tie it onto my peach color. I don't want it to come loose. And now for rows eight, nine, and ten, I'm going to finish with the solid, the peach color, my main color. So here, one, two, three. I'm going to um, work in my tail here. And then you're just going to be repeating the same thing. One double crochet in each chain or each stitch. And uh, you'll do that for three more rows until you get to row 10. When you finish row 10, go ahead and do row 8 through 10. Then I will come back and show you how we will work the trim for the hat. Okay, here I finished row 10. So now we're going to start working on the little trim around the hat. So here I'm going to go up three. One, two, three. So you chain three. You're going to skip that very first row, that first stitch. In the next chain, we are going to do three double crochets into that same chain. Okay. Now we have three double crochets there. And then after that, we're going to do two chains. One, two. And then we're going to go back into that same chain and do three more double crochets. So you have a little shell stitch there. Now we're going to skip this next work the next stitch there, the next chain. I'm going to do one double crochet in the next chain. So we're doing the post and the shell stitch. We're going to skip our next chain, our next stitch here, and then in the next chain here, the next stitch, we're skipping that one. The next one we're going to do another shell stitch. So we're going to do three double crochets into that chain. That's two, three, and then I'm going to chain two, one, two, and then once again do three more double crochets into that same um, stitch there. Okay. Now I'm going to skip the next chain. The stitch after that, we're going to do one double crochet, and we're going to repeat that all the way around, okay? So then here the next one we'll skip. Okay, here I'm coming to my last shell, so I'm skipping one, my next stitch here. I'm doing my three double crochets, chain two, and then three double crochets. So now when you come here, we're going to, with this shell, we're not going to do another one um, double crochet here. We're going to attach it here to one, two, three, the third chain here. You're going to slip stitch there, and that's going to close it off. See, like you'll have double crochets all the way. Then here, you're going to chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to work on top of our previous shells all the way around. And then when you get here, you're going to fasten also here. Once you do your three chains inside your middle section here is where you will be putting your uh, cluster, your little shell stitches. So here's three double crochets, chain two, and you're going to go back into there and do your three double crochets, two and three. Now you're going to do your one double crochet on top of your previous double crochet post here. So here, you would go there and do your, oops, oops, uh-oh, yeah. that's stuck there. You would do your one double, one um, double crochet there. So see, you're going to be working on top of your previous rows here. Then you're going to go back here and do your three double crochet, chain two, Three double crochet in that same space 
and you're going to repeat this all the way around. When you get to this last double crochet, the, the last um, three double crochets here, then you're going to um, attach to your third chain of your opening chain here. And then when you slip stitch there, then you will fasten off, um, cut off your yarn, and then you're going to sew in your tails. And you'll be done with the hat. Okay, here I've come to the end of my last um, little shell cluster. I'm going to slip stitch into the third chain of my turning chain there. Once I do it there, I'm going to cut my, you can cut my yarn. I'm going to fasten it off. And then here I would just um, sew in my tails and maybe add a little bit of the fray check. Um, one of the viewers said that they used um, fabric glue. I've never tried that, but um, that would also be a good idea. So now, once you sew in your tails, your hat is complete. See? You're all done with your hat. And um, that is a tutorial for the hat. I'm going to do the tutorial for the flower on a separate video. That way, if you only want to learn how to do the flower, you can do that as well. It's very similar to the Briar Rose um, tutorial that I have on my channel. And that would also work good for this um, hat. See? how with two layers of petals. So go ahead. And I hope you enjoyed this. Please hit the like button and subscribe. And I will um, put in... Um, the link to the flower video as soon as I finish doing it. I haven't done it yet. So here, I hope in the meantime, you will be able to make this cute little hat. And remember, you could make this in cotton um, yarn for the summer. It's super cute, and it's just kind of a little brim here on the little edge of the hat. Thank you for watching.